everybody. This is the story I've chosen to read today. It's called Home for a Penguin, Home for a Whale, written by Brenda Williams and illustrated by Annalisa Bagelli. That cute picture. Creeping crab, when all alone, hides itself beneath a stone. Glowing jellyfish, round and wide, drifts ashore on breaking tide. Flightless penguin, waddling free, dips and dives in icy sea. Wide-winged albatross sleeps afloat but breeds on islands quite remote. Huge blue whale with swiftest motion travels far in every ocean. Great white shark gives toothy grin to lure the little fishies in. Wandering polar bear, white as snow, slumbers on a cold ice floe. Long-tusked walrus bellows loud and likes to gather in a crowd. Dainty seahorse, small and frail, holds on to coral with its tail. Cunning octopus in disguise blends with backgrounds to surprise. Sneaky barracuda strikes at speed through coral reefs and mangrove trees. Pelican's pouch is deep and wide with room for lots of fish inside. Dolphin leaps and dives in play, but uses sound to catch its prey. Manta ray appears to fly, but no one knows the reason why. Orca's teeth are sharp and long. It talks by singing secret songs. Seal can dive in seas quite deep, but lies on rocks to rest and sleep. Flying fish can leap and glide above the sea with fins stretched wide. Sea snail has a pretty shell, which is its home and guards it well. There's some treasure on this page. Sea otter dines while on its back, using its stomach to hold a snack. Sea urchin can be large or tiny, but it is always round and spiny. Oh, it hurt to step on that. Lobster hides in rocks and weeds, but hunts at night for the food it needs. 
And here beside the surf and foam, I just love my seaside home. At the back of this book is all sorts of information about all the animals and creatures that were in the story. There's even information about the oceans in the world. Keep our oceans clean. That's very important. the end.